Um, good, good morning my YouTube viewers. It's Crystal here. This is the fourth video that I've made. I'm having some problems recording because I use my Xbox to record on the screen. If this doesn't work, I'm not sure exactly what I can do. I was looking on the internet and it said that there's problems with garbled audio when using the Xbox. So if that happens, I might have to install a different um, recorder, get a different recorder and see if I can record that way. But I really do like recording on my screen because I do these code reviews to actually record on the screen. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the Z-test, which is different from the T-test, which I covered in my last video. And so now on the Z-test, what we're going to do is we're going to check the means of samples. And um, I'm sorry I'm a bit flustered at the moment because this is not try number four. But a Z-test is a statistical test, which is what we're going to use uh, to carry out this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our NumPy library and our Seaborn library. Those are going to be the libraries that we're going to be using. And then we're going to create our data set. So with a Z-test you have to have more than 30 elements in th the uh, array. So this array has 32 elements so that's good. Now the thing that we're going to do is, um, I think I don't need this, so I think I'm going to delete this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, carry out some statistical functions that we're going to need. And I'm going to rerun this. I'm going to run it all. I'm going to rerun it. So after we created our uh, arrays, we're going to calculate the means of the arrays. So the means of the arrays are going to be the sum of class 1 over the len of class 1. And mean 2 is going to be the sum of class 2 over the len of class 2. And we've got 78 and 76 means. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print the variance. And so the variance is NPVAR class 1, DDOF, that's degree of freedom, is 1. And VAR 2 is NP.VAR class 2, DDOF is 2. So VAR 1 is 199 and VAR 2 is 66. We're going to check standard deviation, which is NP.STD class 1. And STD 2 is NP.STD class 2. So your standard deviation one is 13 and your standard deviation two is 12 then we're going to check the length of the class one and class two which is 32 and then now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the z-squares and when we calculate the z-squares uh, this is what we do in machine learning when we standardize our data set. So I was familiar with this particular formula. So class 1 equals NP array class 1. I converted it to a NumPy array. Z score equals class 1 minus mean 1 over STD 1. And then so we print our Z score for all 32 elements. And you can see that. And then for this particular z-score we're going to use scipy so from scipy import stats so z-score equals stats dot z-score class one comma axis equals none and then we print the z-score and so you can see that the z-score is the same as it was when we used numpy so that's a good check if you want to know if you're using a formula correctly if you check it against another library's formula then that will tell you whether you're doing it correctly or not and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use python's mpil module of statistics so dist equals statistics dot normal dist mean one std one and so we're going to print the distribution and z score equals dist z score class one so you print your z score 
and you can see that the z-score is the same as you got with numpy and scipy so that's good that's telling you that these are good formulas if you get the same for each formula so now we're going to use one sample z-test we're going to use stats models to do that so z-test score equals z-test class one so we're going to print the test statistic and the p-value and which is 31.515 and 5.369 then we're going to calculate uh, the test statistic using numpy so test statistic statistic equals mean one over std1 over npd dot square root lin one minus one it gives you a test statistic of 31.515 so that's telling you that when you calculated this with numpy you did it correctly because you checked it against stats models now we're going to use the two sample test i was only able to find a two samples test in stats models and i wasn't able to do it correctly in numpy but if you know the correct formula to use in numpy or if you want to um, if you know the correct formula to use in numpy or if you want to send me the correct formula then certainly i will update my code with you and so z score z test score equals z test class one class two so you're using two samples and you're comparing them and you print out your test statistic which is 0 0.72 and a p-value which is 0 0.47 if you find out a way to do it in numpy that replicates those values then i certainly will update my code review so now we're to use Seaborn to uh, visualize class one so you can see the distribution of class one and you can also see the distribution of class two and so basically since i'm having problems recording i'm going to go ahead and conclude this code review and hope for the best if it doesn't work then i'll probably have to buy a recorder uh, so it's always something isn't it so thank you so much for watching my video thank you to my subscribers for supporting my channel if you like my video please like subscribe and share and i look forward to communicating with you in the next video